In this video, you will learn how to insert line of best fit in Microsoft Excel chart. You can see here I have data of concentration of a compound which is given in this column and the absorbance of that compound at that particular concentration. You will also learn how to use this regression equation to find the concentration of a compound if you know the absorbance of uh, that particular compound. So let's start this tutorial. Firstly, you have to select this data. Go to insert tab. And from here, you will find the option of scatter plot. Select this one. Now resize it. Go to this plus sign. And from here, you can insert axis title. And I want to remove grid line, so I will uncheck this option. Now, if you want to change the title, select this one, put equal sign in formula bar. For example, I want to write line of best fit, select this cell and click enter. And you can format it using this option. Similarly, if you want to edit axis title, select this one. And you can edit this one. I will uh, use sh short term for that purpose. For example, I will uh, put equal sign and select this absorbance because it shows the absorbance. Click enter and bold black and 12. You can manually edit this one if you don't want to use these cells. I am using this one because when I edit this one, this will automatically edit. Select this cell and use format painter to edit this axis. Now select this axis, put equal sign in formula bar and select this cell, this one, put it, press enter. Now you, I will select this axis. You can see here that air decimal not show here. I will right, right click, go to format axis. And you can change minimum and maximum value. For example, I will change it to 0 0.8 and major unit 0 0.2. Similarly, if you scroll down, you will find the option of tick marks. I want tick marks on outside of this axis. Now go to this number option. And from here, you can select number and decimal place is one. Now go to fill a line option, select line. I want to insert solid line with black color, select black color and you can change the width using this option. And if you want to edit these labels, select black color, bold and 12. You can using, use similar method to edit the this axis. So I will not edit this axis. I will go to this uh, marker option, select this marker option. You can see here whole data series is selected now. Right click and go to format data series. Go to fill and line option. And from here you will find the option of marker. Here marker option is available. You can check this built-in option and you can change the marker type. For example, I will select this one and you can even change its size. From here, you can insert the border around this marker or you can change the fill using this option. For example, I want to insert solid fill with red color. You can see here its color is changed. Now, if you want to insert trend line, select, go to this plus sign, add element option, chart element option, sorry, and check this trend line option. Now you can see here Excel has generated a trend line, select this one, right click, go to format trend line, and here different options appeared, scroll down, 
and from here you can check the option of display equation on chart and I will use also check this one display R square value now if you want to change this line go to fill a line option and you can edit it for example I want to here solid line you can see here black color is selected if you change the width this is the option and if you want to compound type you can see either single line or double line and in dash type you can change the dotted for example I will select this one you can see here that the dotted option is changed now I will use this equation to find the unknown uh, concentration I have already uh, used this equation and paste it here you can see here it's uh, a little bit different it is the 0 0.0252 and I have used 0 0.0249 simply y is the absorbance and it is the intercept value and x represent the concentration and if you want to uh, determine the concentration and you know the value of absorbance for example the absorbance of this compound is 0 0.484 and I want to know the concentration simply put this value here and it is the intercept value so now x is equal to divided this value by this one and you will know the concentration of this compound which absorbance is this one 0 0.484 thanks for watching this tutorial